Hello everyone, this is Amit. Welcome to another tutorial about Notepad++. In this video, we are going to learn how we can enable spell check in Notepad++. The default installation of Notepad++ doesn't come with the spell check already enabled. But with use of a plugin called dspellcheck, we can actually check for any spelling errors. Now, you might wonder uh, that many of our source code or scripts that we are working in Notepad++ contains very unique names, right? Variable names or function names or uh, methods and, you know, procedures and all kind of things which carries or which contains a number of underscores and so on. Now, those are not actually proper names or proper words in English or any other language. And so wouldn't this spell check complain about those? Well, the good news is this, this particular plugin is smart enough to know that those are a name assigned for your source code. And it'll try to ignore those while also checking for any proper words that needs a spell spelling error check. And so how we can install this plugin? So in, in order to install this plugin, we need to go to plugins and plugins admin. If you don't have this plugins admin option, it is likely that you are using a older version of Notepad++. Currently I'm using uh, Notepad++ version 7.9 with a November 2020 build. And so as long as you have a fairly up-to-date Notepad++, you should have this option. If you don't, please make sure that you update your Notepad++. But for, for this particular tutorial, let's go to Plugins and go to Plugins Admin. And we are going to search for Spell Check. Now, as, as I'm searching, you can see it's right here. It's called D Spell Check, uh, the name of the plugin. And once you click on that, it also gives you a little bit of description about this plugin. And usually most of these plugins that Notepad++ has uh, have some kind of uh, information or website. And so you can always look, look at those websites and see more information about this plugin. For our case, we know what we want. So we are going to check this and we are going to click Install. And usually Notepad++ restarts in order to install this plugin. And so if you have any unsaved document, make sure that you save it before you restart. So I don't have any of those, so I'm going to click yes. And it should be able to install this plugin. Now the plugin, uh, the spell check plugin is already installed, but how do I find that? So we need to go to plugins and we need to go to the spell check. And usually by default, it is already checking for any errors in the document and so this should be enabled if it is not you can enable it now let's just see if it is smart enough to find and spelling check error well it didn't do it so what exactly happened well so let's take a look at it again so we go to plugins d spell check and it seems that it should be able to identify this error but it wasn't so what happened here well, the reason is that our default language of spelling check is not yet found. And so what is going on is it, is it doesn't know what language you want to do spell check in. And so let's go back to plugin, dspell, check, go to current, change current language, and we need to install the language. So we'll go to download languages, click on that, and it should be able to populate, you know, number of languages. So for, for, for me, I'm looking for English. And again, in under English, there's a number of different, uh, you know, English um, versions based upon the country. And so I'm looking at English United States. And all you need to do is just to click install and it will install a, a short dictionary file uh, in your Notepad++ installation folder. So I'm going to click Install Selected, and it just installed that. Now, 
Look at that. Now we can see there was some spelling error in this particular text. So you can see that it is able to identify these spelling errors. And so in order to, you know, correct that, you need to right click on it. And you can see right here, well, I'm sorry, it is going a little beyond uh, this right click menu is going beyond this video, but actually it is able to show me all the correct spelling options, just like a MS Word. Again, there's another error. So you can see right here, and now I'm going to rename or, or uh, correct this error spell, spelling error, and I'm going to save this. Now let's go back to these two other scripts that we have. So I'm going to click on HTML. Uh, and as you can see that it is smart enough to identify some spelling errors. Now it did find some other that, that it didn't need, but right here there's an example, M is, M is missing. So I'm right clicking and selecting to correct it. Now this is also an error and then I'm missing L here. So skills and of course I many of these I intentionally did a spelling error so that it can identify. So I'm going to right click formatting and there's an error here and so on. So you can see that it, it is able to do a spelling check in your document. I'm going to save this and go to this script and again it's able to identify these these common English words uh, errors in the spelling. So resolution and then there's a position error. So right there. So that's about it actually. We just learned how you can install dspell check and we also see we saw how it works. Uh, just remember that we had to install the language in order to to do its function. And so if if for whatever reason your dspell checker is not working it is most likely that it is not able to identify what language uh, you are checking the spelling for. And so once you install your language, it should be able to work as, as intended. And so that's about it. I, if you guys made it this far, I hope you like this video and I hope you learned something new about Notepad++. So please click on the like button below or, or make sure that you subscribe to my channel to get more videos about Notepad++. Thank you very much.